I believe that for many, the season to come is going to be marked by the word effortless. God's grace wants to come to some that have really been striving to see God come through. And God actually wants you to sit, to rest, to be still and know that he is God. That literally means to down tools. And what's the result? The next line says, and I will be exalted in the nations. I'll be exalted in all the earth. God gets exalted when we rest. He is wanting to teach us the effortless rhythms of grace. I love that phrase, don't you? Uh, my wife Vicky had a dream a little while ago and God just spoke these words in the dream. It was Sabbath outpouring, no striving. I believe there's gonna be an outpouring of Sabbath rest where we sit back. Yes, we work, but we, we do it from a place of sitting back in the power and the grace and the mercy of God. And he does the things that we could never do, things that we've strived to get accomplished. He just makes happen. People that we've tried to get saved suddenly come to Christ. Projects that we've tried to get off the ground, debts that we've tried to get paid for, healings that we've tried to trust God for suddenly break through when we give up and fall back into the arms of God and he begins to carry us. There's something remarkable about it. I remember as a kid uh, following my dad around as he was itinerantly preaching one sermon on one particular trip. We were missionaries, so we were back visiting all of our supporting churches. And so as a youngster, I must have heard this sermon a dozen times. And he preached about the eagle that stretches out its wings and rises on the updrafts of the warm thermals of air. Not a sparrow, an eagle is who God wants us to be. And that's what it is. You can go higher on rest. Both have got wings, but both are just using the environment differently. I don't want to be a striving sparrow. I believe God's called us to be eagles that rise on the thermals of his grace in this season. So look for it. Don't strive to force things happen. Sit back enveloped in his grace, focused on him, trusting him, and you're going to see God comes through for you. Let's let God show off and do remarkable things among us. One little story as I finish. I remember being in a meeting with a load of wonderful leaders, apostolic guys, and we were having an awesome prayer time. All the hands were raised. Everybody was praying in tongues. There was a sense of God's power in the room. And I was stood in front of an armchair. It must have been a circle of maybe 20 seats. And I just felt this hand from heaven come and push my chest and shove me back into the armchair that was behind me. And as I fell back, I heard God say, you'll do more seated. God has spoken to me again and again about ceasing striving. And instead, my work is to believe in him, to trust him, to fulfill all that he wants to do. I'm not trying to fulfill my plan anymore. How about you? I just want to join God in his plans and he will do them. He will make the way straight. He will work in me to do, to will and to do according to his good pleasure. God's going to do it. Let's trust him. Sabbath outpouring, no striving. I hope you got something from that. Uh, I keep uploading these every day at midday at the moment, but if you want to get the full prophetic word straight away, come and join our online learning community, The Tribe. We've got 700 modules of teaching on the prophetic, leadership, worship, creativity, mental health, all kinds of stuff, uh, just to help you grow in God. We've got Zoom sessions together. We've got books that you can receive. There is currently 50% off uh, the annual memberships at The Tribe for tiers one and two. Come and join us and let's grow in this prophetic journey together. Hey, but if not, See you midday tomorrow and let's have a remarkable time listening to God's voice.